on guys so today we are working on a 2017 Ford Fusion 1.5 EcoBoost and the problem we're having with it is when you go to the gas station and put gas in it go to crank it up it acts like it doesn't want to take the fuel uh, it kind of spits sputters a little bit until you get on down the road so throw the scanner tool on it let's go see what we got okay so here's what the scanner is telling us able to bleed the fuel tank vacuum so according to ford the evap purge control valve needs to be replaced so the only place you can order it at least that i found was the dealership so nearly 300 dollars later we have this this lovely set of hoses right here here's the part number So we're going to see how hard this is to change. I couldn't find much of any kind of videos or anything for this kind of replacement. It looks fairly easy and straightforward, um, but we'll see what happens. First thing we're going to do is take this off. Let's pop this phone cover out. So the hose we're going to replace is this. It runs to here, all the way here, all the way around. to here and there's a hose piece going from here under the intake all the way back here so it looks like we need to take unplug I think that's the cam set cam sensor get that out of the way we'll have to take the intake tube out And hopefully I can squeeze, after I take the intake tube out, I should be able to squeeze it around up under here so I don't have to worry about taking this off. I do not want to take that off. Just too much stuff going on with these new cars. Too much. Carburetor, easy, simple. All right, let's go. I guess while we're at it, what we'll do is we'll check the, it looks like there's some trash up on here we'll clean up. Um, we'll go ahead and check the air filters while we're here. Um, and any other kind of maintenance you might think you might want to look at while you're doing this, it's best to go ahead and do it while you're taking stuff out versus finding it later and realizing eh, i should have done it when i had it off so let's kind of give it a once over so from the looks of this new one this hose here only goes to right about here so you don't have to go all the way to the hose back there so that's because that looked like it was going to be kind of a pain in the butt so that works Make sure you always keep a mental note of all the plugs that you're unplugging and where they go. Most of the time they got a wire that's just about the right size to get back into where it needs to go. Um, but sometimes if they're clustered up you may forget to plug one in and not realize it until you, after you got everything back together. Um, so just keep a mental note of those. And if you've ever worked on a BMW, um, a lot of these clamps in these hoses are very similar. They're just pretty much a push clip and pops right off. Okay, coming down here. I can get you back there. The 
bolt right there is a 10 millimeter and you're going to need roughly about a six inch extension to weed up under this hose to get back there. careful when you're getting that nut off <gasps> that's what she said unless you got a magnetic socket because if you drop it you're dropping it right down in the middle of the motor not cool Whew. didn't drop it Popping these little covers off to separate the hoses so that way we, we can slide it under this hose without taking it off. So this is one piece. the old one let's put the new one on all right so we got the new one on here we're gonna snake it through here and just reinstall all the clips make sure all your plugs are plugged in and we should be good to go something I'm looking at if you look right here there are two spots where that uh, bracket screws on it was on the bottom one but I'm going to put it up here on the top one because it's a little bit easier to get to with a extension and if I ever have to do this again that's going to be a lot easier to get off rather than that that bottom bracket right there so, put it back on how you want it, but that's the way I'm going to do it. It looks like everything's good. So, let's uh, put the intake back on it, put the cover back on it, and then we should be good to go. So, there you go, fellas. Pretty simple. And it runs here, all the way down here to back here. And it goes up under this hose to here. Runs all the way down to this connector here. And it disconnects right here. So you don't have to change out that back hose going all the way to the back end of the motor. So it looks like we're pretty much done. I'll snap everything back on and put the intake back on, cover back on, and we're good. Like I said, I don't think there was too many videos of this kind of uh, fix. And because it is a 2017, so it's somewhat of a newer car. Um, so hopefully this helps somebody out and, you know, Make sure y'all hit that subscribe and like button and throw your comments down there. We'll check them out. We'll see you on the next one.